All right, we're looking at still more factor and trinomials, and this time, uh, before we had just x squared plus bx plus c, now we're doing ax squared, which means we have a coefficient other than 1 for our leading term. Now, to do this, again, we have some steps here that I'll write out. So we should write out all pairs um, of factors of ax squared. Of factors of ax squared. That's the first thing we should do. Second, write out all pairs. Write all pairs of factors of c, which is our constant term. Then we go to trial and error. Try various combos and so bx is found. We don't really have to get it out far. We'll see here in a minute. And number four, if no combos, the polynomial is prime. Okay. So let's let's see how we work some of this here. Let's look at uh, an example. Say we have 8x squared. Now we don't have a coefficient of 1 here. Minus 22x plus 5. Okay. So we know factors of 8x. Um, squared are equal to basically we look at um, what 8x times x to start with and then um, let's see our middle term is negative and our last term is positive so we know we're going to have two negative numbers here so 5 is equal to negative 1 times negative 5. So we can try different combinations here um, we can go 8x and x with negative 1 and negative 5, so we could have something like 8x minus 1 times x minus 5, and so give us 8x squared minus 40x minus x plus 5, so this gives us 8x squared minus 40x, so it actually be minus 41x plus 5. Well, that really doesn't work. Um, we can try it with 8x and negative 5. 8x minus 5 times x minus 1. Then we get 8x squared minus 8x minus so we get here, 5x plus 5. So we have 8x squared. Um, let's see. Negative 5x, negative 8x plus 13x plus 5. So we don't have the proper term there. Um, now we can try other factors of 8x. We tried 8x, but we can also know that 8x squared, we can get that as 4x times 2x. And now we can start this way. And so we've got other factors of 8x here. Now let's look at what we do is 4x minus 1 and 2x minus 5. So 4 4x four times 2x is 8x squared. 4x times negative 5 negative 20x. Negative 1 times 2x negative 2x. And then negative 1 times 5 plus 5. This is 8x squared minus 22x plus 5. Okay, so we can do this trial and error to that point. Now, um, we can also do this by grouping a little bit. And I think before I get into that, I'm going to show one more example, maybe. Um, yeah, we'll do one more example. We have 24x to the 4th plus 40x to the 3rd. Uh, plus 6x squared. 
Now we should know we can we can uh, factor something out here. We can factor out a, a, a two two x two x squared. So we factor out two x squared. We're left with twelve x squared plus twenty x plus three. Okay. So now again we're we're looking at this as being twelve x squared. We can get that as 12x times x, we can get it as 6x times x, we can get it as 4x, I guess it'll be 6x and 2x, 4x times 3x, um, and that's about it. And we have 3 here, so we know 3 is equal to 3 and 1. Both signs are positive, so we know. Uh, we're going to have two positive terms here. So really we have 12x and x, 6x and 2x, 4x and 3x, and 3 and 1. So now we can combine them. So let's see. Let's try 12x and x first. So if we had 12x plus 3 times x plus 1. We have 12x squared plus 12x. 3x plus 3, so we get 12x squared plus 15x plus 3. Well, that's not right, because we need to look at 20x plus 3. Um, let's look at let's look at 6x and 2x. Um, let's go 6x plus 1 and 2x plus 3. 12x squared uh, plus 18x plus 2x plus 3, 12x squared plus 20x plus 3, that's it, that's, that's what we want, and we can't get, we have a 2x squared here. So if we want to look at this, then what we're saying is really this factors in a 2x squared times 6x plus 1 times 2x plus 3. Now, we can we can do this also by uh, grouping here. And um, I think what I'm going to do is save that one for the next video also. Factoring trinomials by grouping. Uh, especially, especially when we have um, these um, areas where we have something like ax squared plus bx plus c where we have that leading coefficient as not being one. Factoring by grouping can help out and do this. So that'll be the next video. I'll see you then. Until then, have a good one. Bye.